Good morning. You know, I've always enjoyed Star Wars, and I've enjoyed Legos, but not as much as some people. You know, there are those who really love Star Wars, Star Wars and, and Legos, like a guy named John. John's really passionate about it. So much so that he hunted down the Moss Eisley Cantina set at Target. Now, this set is huge. I mean, it costs $350. And when you build it, it you're, you use over 3,000 pieces, and there's 400 pages of instructions. I mean, this isn't something you just sit down and do in an hour's time. No, he managed to find this set. You don't find them easily. So he was very fortunate to find one at Target. And he came home, started putting it together. He spent hours over a number of days. And then when he was partially through, what he discovered was he was missing a certain bag of Legos for the set. Now, how frustrating is that? You're about two-thirds of the way through. You spent all this time. You spent all this money. What do you do? You take your Lego set, half built, two-thirds built, and take it back to Target and say, I want my money back? Well, the sad thing is, if you go do that, then you won't probably find the set anyway. So what he decided to do was to reach out to the company. Now, when you're reaching out to a big company like that, well, you know, think about it. They're going to be getting hundreds, thousands of emails every day about problems. So most of the time, you get something that is automatic generated back to you or it's some sort of very generic email. But he sent in and explained what had happened, how sad and disappointed he was that he was so close and now to find he was missing this. Well, the fascinating thing is he got an email back. And I want to read to you the email that John got back. Thanks for getting in touch with us and providing that information. I am so sorry that you're missing bag 14 from your Moss Eisley Cantina. This must be the work of Lord Vader. Fear not, I've hired Hans to get the bag right out to you. Your order number is 312-139-08866 and will be arriving in the next seven to 10 days. Have a bricktastic day and may the force be with you. Now, if you aren't a Star Wars fan, you may not fully understand that, that response all about Lord Vader and Hans, the good guy who's going to get you the bag, and may the force be with you. But this response, back from Lego, I think is incredible. First of all, they accepted responsibility that there was a mistake that had been made. Secondly, they apologized, and they did it with such a kind and warm sense of humor that there's no question and that John was going to feel good about having responded and now that it's going to be fixed and in such a wonderful, thoughtful way, he would continue to be a very loyal and faithful customer. You know, when you and I think about life, quite often that's not what we get out of big companies. And all companies should think more about it. I know we think about it as a church. We know that we're not going to be perfect. But sometimes we make mistakes and drop the balls in ways that we don't want to. But you know, it also happens with all of us as individuals. And what would this world be like if not just the big corporations, if not just churches, but each of us as individuals discovered the ability of when we made a mistake to be able to accept responsibility and then to apologize and apologize in a non-defensive kind of way, but in a way for being kind, maybe even able to find some humor. To be able to do that, when we would do that, I think it's the way that you and I would start sharing God's love and bringing hope in this world. Go ahead and have a great day, and may the Force be with you.